You know, Michael, it's interesting you say that because I wrote down some of the questions that have been asked of the jurors. Do you have any strong feelings about dentists? That was one of the questions. Another one, do you feel people who have a lot of money are treated better by our court system than mm -hmm. other people? And I thought that was interesting as well. I think that's a very real issue here, and it goes to what you're talking about. The fact that this dentist is conferring with and talking with and about it below his station in life. And I think that's a bias that, as a defense attorney, you've got to look for mm -hmm. and be careful of. Absolutely, because a lot of the people in the jury, some of them might be making, you know, 40 grand a year, 50 grand a year. They see this dentist uh, and they see the team of attorneys. He's got really good attorneys, by the way, high powered attorneys. He's obviously, this is a Hail Mary, he's saving his life. So they see that, they're going to think some kind of way about it. You know, me as an attorney, some of the guys I grew up with, I really wouldn't, you know, hang out with them anymore, not because they're criminals, but, you know, they're, we've just gone in different paths. You know, and so if someone growing up with me would see me, you know, going out to dinner with somebody who, you know, is had been in jail, they would think, well, why is Michael Jaffer having dinner with that person? So the state is going to want the jurors to make that connection uh, that here is this well-to-do dentist, you know, communicating with people who not they're not just, you know, employees at a fast food restaurant. These are murderers. Right? He had no business. He, he didn't go to school with them. He didn't go to college with them. They're not his colleagues. Why was he with them? So I do agree with you, Michael. Yeah.